So I'm going to go to my browser and I'm going to uh, just uh, write github.com and then go to this GitHub website and then I'm going to uh, click on sign in. If you don't have a GitHub account, you can create one very simply and then you can just log in with your account. So I'm going to log in with my account. And once you have signed into your GitHub account, you can create a new uh, repository by clicking on this plus icon and then click on new repository here. Or you can click on this new button from here also and uh, it's going to uh, give you this kind of interface. Now here you can uh, give a name to your repository. So let's say the repository name which I want to give here is hello uh, underscore test for example. And here you can also give some description. Let's say setting up uh, git. Now uh, this uh, repository will be public but you can also create the private repositories. Public means uh, anybody uh, on GitHub can see your repository, which is fine for me. Then I can even initialize a readme file. I can just check this checkbox, which will create a default readme file for me. Also, it can create a dot git ignore file and you can even choose the license. For now, I don't want to do this because I just want to uh, create this repository for the demonstration purposes. Once you are done, you can click on create repository. And once uh, everything is set up, you can see the repository is created here. So once this repository is created, you can uh, click on this uh, repository and clone this repository in your Ubuntu operating system. So you can see I am uh, in my uh, root directory and here I can create a folder. I can uh, name my folder as a workspace, for example. So I'm going to just write mk there and then workspace, which is going to create this uh, workspace directory for me. You can create any uh, directory with any name. I'm just uh, creating a random uh, directory in which I'm going to clone this repository, right? Then click on the name of the repository and then click on code here and then click on HTTPS and then copy this uh, URL from here. Okay, so this is the URL for your repository. And then on the terminal, inside your workspace, you just need to give this command, git clone and then paste the URL which you have copied, which is this one. In my case, it's uh, my username and then the name of the repository, right? So github.com the username and the name of the repository dot git. Then press enter, which is going to clone this repository. Once the repository is cloned, you can uh, uh, write ls and you will be able to see this hello underscore test uh, directory, which is the repository which we have cloned, right? Now, if you can see here inside this repository, I have this readme.md file. And inside this readme.md file, I have this text here. So hello underscore uh, test and then setting up git. It's there in my readme file, right? So let's see uh, if the same content is there. So I'm going to go to my uh, repository directory. So I'm going to just do cd and then hello underscore test. And I'm going to do ls here. You can see readme.md is here. I can just uh, uh, view the content of uh, readme by just writing cat readme.md and you can see the same content is there. So now uh, let me create a new uh, file for example. I'm going to name my file as uh, hello.py. So I'm going to just write touch and then hello.py. Let's say I want to create a very simple Python script. So this touch command is going to create the file. You can see this file is created. Now I can open this file by uh, using any uh, editor of my choice. I can uh, just use, for example, gedit here, which is 
the default uh, editor, GUI editor, I should say, which comes with uh, Ubuntu. And then the file name, which is hello.py. And once you give this command, it's going to open this hello.py file. Let me add a very simple uh, uh, Python script here and then save this file and then close this file. And then let's say I want to uh, just add this file and commit this file and push this file to my repository, right? So how can I uh, do this? So for doing this, uh, let me clear this uh, terminal first. So here, as you can see, I have now two files. This is the file which I have created. And this is the file which uh, comes with the cloning of the uh, repository. Here on the GitHub repository, I don't see this hello.py file, but I want to push this file from my local repository to, uh, to the remote uh, repository, right? So in order to uh, do this, I need to add this and commit this uh, new file, which is uh, the hello.py. So to view all the uncommitted file, you can give this command, which is uh, git uh, status, which is going to give you the status of your local repository. You can see this file is untracked. Untracked means it's not tracked by git till now. To add this to uh, your git uh, versioning, you can write this command, which is git add and the name of the file, which is uh, hello.py in our case, and then press enter. And then once again, give the git status command. And this time you will see this hello.py file in the green uh, color, right? And it says changes to be committed. So we have added this file to the git but we have to commit this file in order to fully uh, make this the part of git, right? So for this, just write git commit and then hyphen m, hyphen m is the flag using which you can give any comment to your commit, right? So that uh, you remember why uh, you uh, added this file or what changes you have made in this file, right? So I'm going to just say first, uh, Python code, for example, right? And then press enter. This is going to commit your file into Git. Once again, give Git status. And now you can see nothing to commit. Once you see nothing to commit, working tree clean, that means all the changes are committed into Git. Now you can push your changes to your master branch or main branch, right? So in order to push this change to your GitHub repository, you can give this command, git push origin, and then whatever is the branch name in which you want to push, right? So right now I want to push in this main branch. You can see by default, this main branch is created, right? So I will just write origin and then main here, and then press enter. And then it's going to ask you for your GitHub username and password. So give your GitHub username and password. I'm going to give the GitHub username and password here. And now the password and then press enter. And you can see uh, this says that support for password authentication was removed on this date. Please see this uh, thing. So you can't anymore authenticate with this method. Now, in order to authenticate, you need a new kind of method, which I'm going to show you. So if you're using this kind of method, it will uh, not work because it was removed, right? So go to your GitHub account and here, click on your user profile and then click on settings. And then on the left-hand side, go at the very bottom where you see developer settings and then click on personal access tokens. You can create a fine grain token, which is in beta right now, and the token, which is classic token, right? So you can click on uh, classic token, and then you can generate a new classic token from here. Click on uh, generate new token, and then click on uh, generate new token, which is the classic token. 
you can give any note to uh, your token. Let's say I am giving uh, the note my token here. You can choose the expiration date. I can uh, just give a custom expiration date. I want to expire this uh, token in one or two days. So I'm going to just uh, give a very short uh, expiration because I'm doing this for the demonstration purposes. You might want to give the expiration, for example, for 90 days, or you can also choose no expiration also. Then you can select the scope. So I can uh, just select all these scopes here so that I can do all the actions uh, using this token, right? So I'm going to choose all these uh, options here. So you can also choose all these options one by one, right? So you can see I have chosen all the options and then click on generate token. And then this is the token which is created, right? Now in my case, I can copy this token and uh, save this at uh, some location. You can see, make sure you copy your personal token. You won't be able to uh, see it again, right? So you need to copy this and paste it somewhere where you can uh, access it again. I'm going to paste it on the uh, editor. And then you need to edit this command uh, with this token, right? So the token is this one. I'm going to replace this token here in place of token. I'm going to give this uh, command in the description of this video. So you can also uh, use this uh, command. Then you need to give the username, right? So in my case, my GitHub username is pknowledge, right? So I can just uh, open uh, the repository once again, and you can see this is the uh, username here, and this is the repository name. You can copy both of, uh, both of them, right? And then you can uh, replace this and you can replace this here in place of username and repository name. So username in my case is uh, P knowledge and the repository name is hello underscore test, right? Let me copy this command here and then paste it inside my repository. I'm going to just paste this command and then press enter. And now once again, I'm going to uh, give the command git push origin main and then press enter and this time you can see my push is successful so once you see this kind of uh, output this means that this new file is pushed into my repository so i can go to my repository you can see previously it only contained a, a readme.md file when i refresh this I can see hello.py file also, right? So this is how you can uh, install Git and configure it with GitHub on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.